here at Mountain Noodle Restaurant, the healthiest and tastiest noodles you're gonna find here in K-Town. This is like taking healthy and delicious Asian noodle experience to a whole new level. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here in Koreatown because I'm gonna be checking out a rockin' spot. In Koreatown, you're gonna find a lot of great restaurants. Barbecue restaurants, seafood restaurants, and of course, noodle houses. And I'm actually at a new Korean noodle shop that has been getting a lot of great reviews for good reason. This restaurant called Mountain Noodle is a brand new Korean noodle spot in Koreatown that serves really delicious, healthy noodles. That is a great thing. So since it's been getting a lot of buzz, that means this is the place you got to check out. So if you guys want to see one of the coolest new noodle experiences that you can have here in Los Angeles, you've come to the right episode. So stick all the way to the end so that you can see this amazing feast of noodles and everything else that I'm going to have here. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't want to miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And I see the restaurant right ahead of me. Wow, it looks so festive. It's inviting me to come in. This restaurant has only been here for a few months. So yes, it is a new restaurant, a new noodle house in Los Angeles. And what makes this food so unique from what I heard is that their broth is supposed to be really good. It's supposed to be the healthiest Asian broth that you'll have in town. No MSG, very low sodium. They have a very secret recipe for how they make these broths. So yes, overall, this is gonna be like your ultimate noodle broth experience. And like I said, they have other great things on the menu as well, which I'm gonna show you in just a bit. Look at this amazing spread in front of me. This isn't even the noodles, but I wanted to try this because these are also some of the great items on the menu. Beginning with the japchae, very popular Korean noodles, glass noodles filled with veggies and meats, and this is a huge platter. It's definitely big enough for one person, let me tell you that. And also got the sizzling pork bulgogi, donburi. This is pork bulgogi over rice, in a sizzling pot. Now, this is the first time I've seen a pork bulgogi served like this. So this is a unique item here at this restaurant. A great appetizer here. This is the shrimp dumpling roll or fried mandu. So these rolls, which kind of look like egg rolls, have beef and shrimp as filling. And it looks like there's a lot of filling in it. Really perfect appetizer. And check out this one, guys. This is the sizzling bulgogi donburi. So this one is the beef not the pork. This one is the one that's very popular with a lot of people. We all come to know about the beef bulgogi and this one is served on a sizzling pot. And then we also got the steamed beef dumplings, very home style. This is another really good appetizer. It looks very delicious and very healthy as well. And can't forget about the fried chicken. We got the sesame chicken here, which kind of looks like popcorn chicken. It's breaded, deep fried, and it's supposed to kind of have like a little curry flavor from what I'd understand. And there's tempura dipping sauce, which is pretty cool. Look at this huge one. This is the gamjetang, which is pork neck soup. This one is always a big attraction at a lot of Korean restaurants. And this one I heard also, you gotta get here. I can tell, it looks really good. Look at all that pork neck in this soup and there's a lot of potatoes underneath and all this mountain of mint leaves on top. So I'm gonna begin with the japchae. This looks pretty good. Look at that noodle pole, looks so amazing, doesn't it? Good comfort food. Oh wow, it's so good. It's chewy too. And I can tell it, it, it tastes very healthy because it's not that sweet. It's not uh, salty either. This feels like a japchae that your mother would make at home. 
Okay, these mandu, you gotta eat it right now so it won't get way too cold. And they give you this dipping sauce with the gochujang in, and be sure to get plenty of that sauce to get the best experience. Wow, it's delicious. <laughs> it's just like home cooking right here. And then they also got these other fried ones. Now the fried ones I really like because I'm just a fried type of person. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. I just like how it's so crispy. And there's so much meat in there too. Like uh, the shrimp, everything that's going on in there. It's good. The other really popular appetizer, the sesame chicken. Now this one, you would dip it into this tempura sauce, which I think is very unique. I don't think I've had chicken like this before. Now yeah, the menu description is right. It kind of has a hint of curry flavor. Not overpowering, but just kind of like a hint of it on there. Crispy, soft, and another good dish for sharing as appetizer. This one is gonna stay hot for quite a while, which is a good thing. You definitely wanna get a lot of rice with the pork itself when you're eating this. I think I got a piece of that crispiness too because I feel soft and crispy going on in my mouth. Yeah, so since this is a stone pot, you're gonna have rice in there that's soft, but then in the bottom layer, you have crispy rice. But man, that combination is so good. The pork along with the rice, it touches you. Oh, okay, now this broth looks so amazing. I've been eyeing this one the whole time. Look at that. Oh. Wow, that is a very tasty broth. It's so light too. I mean, you can tell it's very healthy when you eat it. Not too salty. Actually, it's, it's very pleasant all around. A little bit spicy. It's, it tastes very earthly too because there are all these greens that give it that flavor. And then don't forget, there's plenty of meat to enjoy in here as well. So yeah, you should definitely enjoy the pork. Oh, you know what I noticed? Is that the meat is so tender. It's tender, it falls right off the bone, and that's the way you want to eat your gamjatang. I've had gamjatang in LA, I've had it in Korea before. It's always such a good food to eat, especially if you are with a group. The soup is great. I love the vegetables that are in here as well, because it gives it a really, like an earthly, kind of a slightly minty taste to it. And this is worth mentioning too, they have noodle options. So when you get the noodles, it's not just one kind of noodle. So you can get the thin udon, you can get the rice somen, the thick udon, ramen, additional toppings. So yeah, you can definitely have fun with this. Ending it off with the main attraction. Yeah, you see, I'm a big eater, ha huh, ha. Huh. So first of all, we got some jajangmyeon. This is very popular Korean noodles. Look at all that black sauce over it. It looks kind of intimidating, but I assure you it's very delicious. And then we have here the soba, soba noodles. Now what makes this one pretty interesting is that these aren't the dry soba noodles. They're the, uh, they come straight from the factory refrigerated, so it's gonna have a little bit of a different taste to it, I guess. But yeah, it comes with a dipping sauce. So yeah, this is a very traditional way of eating soba. So here's the uh, mountain signature broth. I decided to get mine with both meat and seafood. Look at this meat. That is incredible. Big piece of beef bone. And then in here you got some shrimp and you got some squid. And then this is the spicy version. Yeah, so it's pretty much uh, the same as this one, but this one has a spicy broth. So yeah, everything is the same. The beef, we got the shrimp and the squid, the noodles. So here's the broth that I've been hearing so much about. Yes, I always like to drink the broth before I head straight into the noodles anyways. I'm very excited to try this. Oh, wow, that is good. Consistent with their philosophy here of no MSG, low sodium, some sort of an anchovy flavor they got going on in this broth. It tastes delicious. It's light and it still has 
tremendous flavor in it. Okay, so yeah, the broth is definitely a winner. Look at that big piece of rib right there. It's been pressure cooked to perfection. I could, you see it's already falling off the bone. That's how, how tender it is. Can't get any softer than that. Man, oh man. This jajangmyeon uses olive oil inside it, so that's why you're gonna taste kind of like a little bit of that oiliness, but in a good way because olive oil is good for you. I've had jajangmyeon before where it was so sweet, but this one, not so. It's still a little bit on the thick side, which is very characteristic of jajangmyeon I've had before. But this one I like, so if you like jajangmyeon that's not that sweet, this is perfect. Okay, so the soba noodles, the stuff on the side along with the wasabi makes it taste so good. Yeah, definitely dip a lot of it in, like baptize it in there, baby, so that you can get that refreshing cold soup taste of the soba noodles. Mmm. Oh, oh, I feel like I'm in Japan again. Soba noodles is one of those things I loved to eat when I was in Japan. You taste it, it's so chewy. It's chewy, it's fresh. These are really good soba noodles. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, factory made. So it's really as top notch as it can get, especially here in Koreatown. And they do put some of these pieces of seaweed on here as well, so it gives it that nice seaweed flavor. I know that this one is not their number one bestseller, but still, if I came here just to eat the soba noodles, I think I'd be very happy. That's how good it is. <laughs> All right, so now moving on to this one, the spicy one. Oh, <laughs> be careful guys, because you, you don't want to choke on this. But yeah, it tastes exactly like this one, but just a little spicier. So if you guys are into spiciness, I would recommend you get this one instead. Yeah, because this one, I mean, I like non-spicy food, but maybe to some people it's kind of boring. So if you want it spicier, then get this one. But when you come here, definitely you got to get their house specialty mountain noodles. I mean, me personally, I like the spicy version. And you know what's also pretty good at is the uh, soba noodles, the cold soba noodles. That, I was like, wow, you got to try it. I mean, even the gamja tang was really good as well. So it just kind of depends on what you guys are in the mood for. But yeah, this is the real deal if you want like really nice healthy Korean food that tastes great as well. I know um, you know some people when they eat food like that if they're not accustomed to uh, this kind of recipe they could say that it's a little bit on the bland side but I would say it's more on the healthy side. This is really as good tasting a healthy food as you're gonna get in Korean cuisine. I mean, it just tastes so like real, so organic, like when you eat it, something like you would eat at home with your family. I like it. I mean, this is really awesome stuff. So yeah, if you're in the Koreatown area and you're looking for the hottest new noodle restaurant in Koreatown, Los Angeles, then this is your restaurant. And I do want to mention as well that uh, if you mention this episode when you come to Mountain Noodles, they're gonna give you a free sesame chicken with dine-in. That is pretty big because that is really one of the best appetizers on the menu, that whole sesame chicken. So just mention this episode when you come here and they're gonna hook you up. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode of Rockstar Eater. If you enjoy what I'm doing here on the show, give me a thumbs up and also comment on the section below because if you've been to this restaurant before, I would love to hear your story. What do you think about it? What's your favorite dish here? And finally, subscribe because more of these awesome food and travel videos are coming out very soon. Well, I hope you have a rocking day today, folks, and I'll see you all in the next food adventure.